Hello world, it's Tango, and it's been a long time since I've made an installment in Hello World. Uh, that's for a few reasons. I guess I've had a few technical things I can cover, but as you can see, we're shooting at a new location, my full-time job. So between that, my gaming habits, and you know, video ideas have been coming in and going away, and whatever, and I've just sort of not been acting on any of it. We finally have something to make a new video on today, and that would be... Um, I guess it's an update to what I've already discussed about my Razer Blade 2014. So now, I guess I'll give you guys a recap on that. My Razer Blade 2014, man oh man, where do I begin with this thing? Well, first of all, I, I guess I like the way it looks, I like its vinyl skin, and I guess I've gotten used to how thin and light it is, but as a Game & Go service machine, it's time is up. First of all, the screen, it's 4K and that's great, but it's glossy and the glare is fucking awful. And then not only that, but they paired it with an 870M for graphics? No thanks. Anyway, the technical issues with this machine are as follows. First of all, the bottom feet didn't last a week. The glue melted. I'm thinking it's the heat pipes being directly under it, and I took off the front one too because there's no point of having just one. So anyway, I got some speaker feet here and that took care of that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it thermal throttles like hell, it's got power delivery issues, sometimes when using the battery, it will just randomly hard power off, it lasts about 20 minutes sometimes, sometimes it lasts 2 hours, it's just unpredictable. Uh, that and the keyboard is worse for wear for sure. Since the last time I used it, I accidentally melted my X key a little bit, and pay no attention. But the big problem is the A, Q, and 2 keys, so I'll try to demonstrate here. Um, basically what's going on is if I hit the A key, nothing happens. But if I hit the Q key, I get Q and A. And if I hit the 2 key, I get 2 Q and A. So, clearly some water damage happened. I don't really know how. I think it happened when I was cleaning my fish tank, but basically it's broken. And replacing the keyboard is pretty difficult. You have to replace the whole top pad assembly here, the whole top front face. I'm not sure what to call it, but either way, you replace the touchpad, the top piece, entirely. And that part is... 400 US dollars! No thanks! Anyway, I have the perfect solution for this problem. We're just gonna go for a walk, and well, it's a beautiful day. Oh, hey, you know, we're gonna. We, we don't need that on there. Let's get that off. And, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, well, nobody will notice. Just, yeah, yeah. So now that you guys know everything that's gone wrong with the razor blade, um, it's time for something new. So guys, after all of my uh, searching and everything else, I think I finally decided that I'm gonna get a business laptop of some kind. I've decided to go with the Lenovo W520. Um, when I was doing my searching, I just looked around and noticed that pretty much every other business laptop uh, either had worse support than the Lenovo did, or if they were something like, I was originally thinking I was gonna go with a a T420, but because of the integrated graphics and the fact that finding one in good shape uh, was going to cost around $500 anyway, I decided to pay the extra two and just get the W520, which does come equipped with a NVIDIA Quadro 2000M, so nothing crazy, but hopefully enough for some uh, HD Counter-Strike maybe. Uh, when I say HD, I mean 1280 by 720 um, but that's all I really need on the go. The rest, uh, you know, as long as all those other bases were covered, right? The good keyboard, the reliability, etc. Um, so, as a matter of fact, while I ordered the laptop, <laughs> I kind of wish I did a little bit more searching, because the one thing I did notice is right after I bought mine from the seller I bought it from, is I found another one on Amazon that was actually uh, $50 cheaper. And it turns out the one I bought didn't have the uh, 2000M like I thought it did, it actually had the 1000M in the listing, which is way worse than even the 2000M. So uh, I contacted the seller after finding that other notebook that was uh, $50 cheaper and came with the 2000M. And uh, Ivan, which is who I was talking to, was uh, extremely, extremely nice and extremely willing to accommodate. So uh, judging by these emails here, it seems like I'm going to get everything 
plus, you know, more. He even promised me a new keyboard, so we'll see if that works out. I won't be surprised if it isn't actually brand new, but uh, looking forward to receiving that. In the meantime, as part of my plan, I ordered some things off Amazon uh, and some other things. I did open it just to check if anything was broken. Um, aside from that, I've also got some of my own upgrade parts here. Uh, I actually have two CPUs in here, one being, actually I'm not sure what the one is, but I know that the one that I'm interested in putting in the Lenovo is a 2960XM. That is the top processor for second gen series i processors, i core i. And aside from that, I have three drives, uh, one being this old Samsung solid state. I probably won't leave that in there for too long though. Um, uh, Western Digital uh, 7200 RPM WD Black 750 gig and a uh, very similar Seagate 750 gig 720 RPM uh, also 750 yeah I think I already said it was already 750 gig two 750 gig drives at 7200 RPM and one 256 gig SSD and then aside from that I've also got 16 gigabytes of 1600 megahertz DDR2 or sorry DDR3 <laughs> Uh, Sodims with uh, 1110 timings. I'm not sure anything else about this RAM, but that also was recovered from an older laptop. Uh, but all the timings are the same. And then in my Amazon package, I got, you probably can tell what this is through the bubble wrap, it's a Ultra Bay. Aside from a few greeting cards, this is essentially what they send you. So an Ultra Bay for one of the drives. I got a brand new Ninja Battery uh, 9 cell. So, even though the one from the refurb should be okay, hopefully, um, that will definitely ensure I have good battery life. And then to help, hopefully help with the extra heat that that better 55 watt CPU will put out, I got a G-Lid, a tube of G-Lid GC Extreme <laughs> Thermal Compound. Uh, and I'm gonna repaste the CPU and GPU the moment I get it after I do the swap. So, that's the plan. And I guess all we have to do now is wait until the computer itself arrives. As long as there's no hitches, this should be pretty awesome.